एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू आवर एज योर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर सीरीज आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर एंड इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू गाइड यू अबाउट हाउ टू टेक द बैकअप ऑफ एज योर वर्चुअल मशीन इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू एड एडिशनल हार्ड ड्राइव आर डेटा हार्ड ड्राइव इन आवर वर्चुअल मशीन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ टू टेक द आर डी पी ऑफ अवर विंडोज वर्चुअल मशीन बट नाउ इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू how to take the backup of our virtual machine so as we know that in our azure virtual machines properties we have n number of options like by using the azure virtual machines property we are able to add additional disk we can change the inbound and outbound port and we can also configure the replication or disaster recovery and if we talk about related to the security or uh, uh, kind of failovers so azure backup services is also available so let's move ourselves to desktop screen and i'll help you about the procedure to take the backup of azure virtual machine so let's move ourselves to desktop screen but before that if you are new on my youtube channel if you are watching my video first time so please do subscribe teach me cloud your own youtube channel so let's move ourselves to the azure portal and discuss about procedure now we are on page of azure portal and let me guide you about how to take the backup of our virtual machine so this is our virtual machine that we created in previous class let me take the rdp and make few changes like uh, create some folders add some files and after that we'll take the backup of this particular vm so to take the backup we have already discussed we just need to click on connect and it give us a three different option to take the RDP of this particular machine so you can just click here download the RDP file and provide user ID and password with the help of user ID and password we are able to take the RDP This is our Azure Virtual Machines desktop or screen. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to add few folders and files. Click this PC. We are able to find two different drives are available: C drive and temporary storage. So, as per the Microsoft suggested, do not put any data in temporary file because the usage of temporary storage it contain the information about the page files, right? If you restart your computer or stop your virtual machine. you will lost the data if you put it into the temporary storage open c drive create folder so i am going to create with name of data and add few files as well because data is our folder and let me create uh, some test file like this is test file for backup right now we successfully saved the backup back to the azure portal again and in azure portal we are able to find multiple options are available available like bastion auto shut down backup disaster recovery so in this class i'm going to uh, help you to understand about the procedure to take the backup of azure virtual machine so we just need to click here and it will redirect you on page of backup basically uh it will help you to create a one recovery service vault and with the help of recovery service vault we are able to take the backup of this particular virtual machine so in my case i have already created a recovery service vault so that's why we are able to find one option is backup now we just need to click backup now it will guide you about the retention details so i'm just going to proceed with this particular date click okay and our recovery service vault name is class hyphen vault vm this particular vault responsible to take the backup of our not only the virtual machine uh, the vaults responsible to take the backup of multiple services it's not only for the virtual machine means if you want to take the backup of your storage databases or any web application services then 
uh, recovery service vault can help us. So we successfully proceeded to take the backup. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to open the recovery service vault's properties and help you to understand about the uh, concept in our recovery service vault properties. In the world's properties, we are able to find a number of options like as a backup, enable site recovery. And if we talk about in getting a start and protected items, you just need to click on backup items. Whenever we click on backup items, it will guide you about the number of backup that you configured. So in this case, the recovery service vault that we created with name of class vault VM, it contained two different backup, Azure backup agent and another is Azure virtual machine. So just need to open the Azure virtual machine and our backup is successfully created. So what you need to do, just need to click view details. It will redirect you on page of backup and here we are able to find backup now, restore VM and file recovery. So what I'm going to do, we have already successfully configured the backup. So do one thing, let's delete the virtual machine and try again because our backup is running properly and uh, let me delete the existing virtual machine and proceed to take the to, uh, proceed to recover our, our virtual machine after deleting open vms panel and under the vms panel we just need to select virtual machine and click delete simple Wait for a few seconds. Once our virtual machine is successfully deleted, we will proceed to create a VM, not with the help of compute option, with the help of recovery service vault agent. Clear? We successfully deleted our virtual machine. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open our vaults and recover our deleted virtual machine. So see, we are unable to find any virtual machine in our Azure portal. So back to the recovery service vault, you can just type recovery service vault and you can also open it with the help of a storage icon. The vault's name that we created, it's class vault VM, select it and go to the backup items. Select your backup types that you configured as your virtual machine and click on view details under the view details, it will redirect you on page of restore VM or file recovery. So I'm going to restore our virtual machine, select restore VM, it will redirect you on new page, select your restore point basically. So n number of restore points are available. So I'm going to proceed with our own points that we created. This is our recent recovery service vault point select it create new virtual machine yes i wanted to create new vm web1 class adp is our container select container name and then another important point you must need to provide the staging the meaning of staging is basically related to the storage account so you must need to create a separate storage account just need to open another page and create one storage but make sure your storage should be a part of same location should be available in same uh, uh, zone that you use to create your virtual machine so our virtual machine is available in central us and our container name means our resource group name is is uh, avd class yes so let me create new storage account to recover our virtual machine training VM storage. Okay. You must need to use a unique name. So let me type something. Central US is our location. No need to make any changes. Click next, next, review and proceed to create. While recovery, you must need to create or contain at least one storage account. By using the storage account, we are able to uh, recover our virtual machine. Everything is okay. Guys, if you have any question or doubt, please drop a comment. Definitely will reach your comment and re uh, reply your comment and help you to uh, understand about the concept, right? If you have any confusion or doubt. 
So we successfully proceeded to create our virtual uh, storage account. So let's wait for two minutes. Once our storage account ready, we will back to our recovery service vault agent, rec recovery service vault icon and try to recover it. Fine. So our storage account is ready to use. So what you need to do back to the recovery service vaults again and just refresh the page because you just created your storage account. So you must need to wait at least 30 to 40 seconds. The storage account name that we created, it's training VM storage 1988-7. Select your restore point. And yes, I wanted to create a new virtual machine with web2 AVD class. This is your VNet. Proceed with default subnet. And this is our storage account, right? So it's mandatory if you want to restore your virtual machine, you must need to create at least one storage account. If you have already created a storage account, so you can proceed with the existing. Now we successfully proceeded. It, it will be validate. And once everything is OK, I think we need to wait up to three to five minutes. And after three to five minutes, we are able to get our virtual machine. So let's open the virtual machine icon and wait for a few seconds. There are no virtual machines available. Uh, we just need to wait for two minutes. Okay, our virtual machine is available. We just created a virtual machine through the recovery. If you take the RDP of this particular VM, you will get an entire information that you saved in our previous virtual machine. So I hope you all of you understand about the concept. So that's it. We'll connect soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.